What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay, making their debut on the channel tonight. Tonight! We have Bad Wolves. Yes, indeed. How about that? Bad Wolves making their debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bop, do me a favor, before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Ian Franks, Jesus Christ, Okay. The real Ralph, as opposed to the fake Ralph, I guess. Definitely not sus. Now I really feel like we're playing Among Us. Eray Uladil. Hope I pronounced that right. And Trey X Cooper. They all want to see me react to this. It is Bad Wolves as they put their spin on the Cranberries tune, Zombie. Now, have I heard this song before? Full disclosure, yes. Yes, I have. I, I've heard this song more times than I care to count. Um, for those of you that heard the story when I did my first reaction to a cover of Zombie, uh, there was a girl I was really into who was also really big into the Cranberries. So I would hear this song at least two or three times a week. Um, on top of that, I've you know heard the song play on the radio. Uh, I've seen it on TV. Uh, and I have heard a number of bands cover this. Now, I'm gonna say the same thing that I have been saying about this cover forever. I feel like this song has the potential to be a great metal song. I remember the first time I heard this song, I was like, this needs to be a metal tune, but I have yet to hear a band make it like a full-blown, like actual metal tune. I've seen bands try and I've seen them fail and it, it's never pretty. So I don't know anything about Bad Wolves. I don't know what kind of a band they are. By the name of the band Bad Wolves, it kind of leads me to believe that they're a metal band. Maybe, I don't know, but something just strikes me that by that name, Bad Wolves. Just sounds like a metal band. So here's the thing, as far as covers go, how are they gonna do this? Are, gonna, they, are they gonna do a carbon copy cover or are they gonna put their own spin on it? give it their feel, their flavor, make it their version. I don't know, I have no idea. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to check this out and see what happens, but full disclosure, <laughs> full transparency here, I will not be reacting to the original song in any way, shape, or form. I'm very familiar with the original song. I am only going to be reacting to, evaluating, and scoring what Bad Wolves does with this song, so please keep that in mind. Uh, this was posted by Better Noise Music, okay? And the video has 383.4 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say, are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Bad Wolves Zombie official video. Wah, wah, wah. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! I don't know if this is coming off, I don't think it's coming off their official page. I'm not sure if it's coming off the record labels page, but we still got that word official there. Just really makes me nervous. Um, hopefully the video won't get blocked. I guess we're gonna have to just wait and see what happens. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Oh, wait, wait. 
wait, wait, wait. Did I did I see that right? Hold on. January fifteenth. So she died the same day that she was supposed to join them for recording. Oh man. That sucks. Man, that really sucks. I think we, I, I think we found it. I think we found it. I think we finally found a truly and real metal cover of Zombie. That felt great. When they kicked in, they kicked in at the perfect spot. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, oh, boy. Um. I want to, I'm sorry. I, I got to go back. I got to go back and hear that again. No. No, I don't care. Hey, it's my show. If I want to go back, we're going to go back. I want to hear that entrance again.
Are we going to have a guitar solo? Why am I glad Pi is in the right place? All right, let's back up. Um, I'm digging this. I am absolutely digging this. I'm digging everything about this. I have zero complaints. Um, I remember when I first heard this song, and I remember saying, thinking to myself, this would be a great metal tune if they would slow it down and you know, maybe play in a different key. That this this has got all the feels of a of a good hard rock slash metal tune, and I've man, <laughs> I searched for a while for because I I would always see bands cover this song. They, I have I've heard so many different bands cover this tune, and for the most part, they all failed tragically. There there, there were a couple that came pretty close. I mean, there there were there were some that sounded really good, but nothing like this oh my goodness this is hitting me in the feels i know i'm not i'm not a blubbering mess but i my my eyes have watered up a bit and i've gotten a little choked up um this is hitting me in the feels and it sounds it sounds heavy it sounds thick um but at the same time, it's not a snooze fest. It's not, it's not, you know, a full blown, like, you know. <clears throat> it's not a full blown, you know, metal, you know, we're going to demolish the original. No, they, they're staying very true to the original and the direction of the original, but they've just taken the original and they made it very heavy. And this is what I've been looking for. For years, this, this cover, this version, this is what I've been looking for. Man, it sounds good. Uh, let's keep going. I think we got a guitar solo coming. Get going. One more round would have been nice. If I said a theme in 2018 in your head, in your head, they are dying. What's in your head? In your head. Stop it. Nice ending. There's confronting the collateral damage of political unrest, capture strange sentiment, expressed a quarter century later. Uh, that's a testament to the kind of enduring artist Dolores was and will remain forever. Yeah, I mean, sounds about right. Ooh, what a ride. Um, <laughs> um, boy, uh, there's a lot to think about. A lot to think about. Let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. 
Well, there you go, folks. That was Bad Wolves with their rendition of the Cranberry song, Zombie. This was a request from Ian Franks, Jesus Christ, <laughs> well, uh, the real Ralph, okay? Uh, definitely not sus, E. Ray Uladil, and Trey X. Cooper. Whew, what a ride. What a ride. Uh, I said this during the reaction, but I'm going to say it again. Um, I've been looking for a cover of this song that was a true metal version but didn't stray too far from the original. It still, it still paid homage to the original. Um, I remember when I first heard the song, they heard the original version, I remember thinking to myself, this would make a great metal song. It really would. All you gotta do, slow down the tempo a little bit, maybe change the key up, and uh, you and, and put the right instrumentation with the right tones in there, and you've got a great metal song. Like great metal soon. Um and I I did some digging, man. I I I I for years I, I looked and I I searched for a band that did a metal cover of this song that was what I was looking for. And I found a bunch. I found a bunch. And none of them none of them hit it. Some came close. Some came close, but not but they they, they were just it was too fast or it was too aggressive or it was, you know, the wrong key or it was, uh, you know, it, the, the, the distortion patches on the guitar were too thick and they ended up sounding muddy, which ended up wrecking the song or the vocals were off or there was always something wrong and there was something off and every single cover I've heard from this song and nothing ever clicked, nothing ever made it work. And it was, uh, believe me, folks, when I say this, it was frustrating. Um, I think I can say, safely say, that I found it. I found it. This is it. This is exactly what I envisioned. This is exactly what I had been looking for. It was at the proper time. Tempo. It was at a slower tempo. Not too slow, but it was a nice slower tempo compared to the original. Um, a different key. Um, I'm bringing up. Where are we in? D? I think we're in D. Hold on. I might there's maybe off a little bit today. No, nope, we're right. D. Alright, so we're in D. My favorite key. <laughs> Couldn't ask for a better key, man. That's my favorite key. Um, the pacing was right. The chordal flow was right. The harmonies, oh my goodness, the harmonies were so well done. Um, the vocals, the, 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 the main vocals, really nicely done on his part. Um, the drumming was nice. I love the setup for the, for the drummer. Every time, right before we would go into the chorus, had that ja, 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 you know, and, and the guitars would, you know, chunk along with them, bass would chunk along with them. Nice, thick, heavy um, setups each and every time, which would bring us into those choruses, man. Oh, man, those choruses were awesome. So powerful, so strong. But at the same time, not overpowering. You know what I mean? They're, there's a fine line, and, and, and they definitely walked that line really well. Um, the verses, very well done. I mean, I'm not usually the biggest fan of, you know, slower ballady style, but I, I, don't, I don't feel this was a ballady style at all. Um, it just felt like a slower style. Um, the pre-courses were amazing. Um, I feel like at times, uh, like in the later pre-courses, I almost thought the pre-courses might have been a little bit more powerful than the than the choruses were. Um, 
as far as the music video goes, I don't I don't really pay attention to music videos. I, I really don't. They have absolutely no impact whatsoever on songs normally. Um I don't know how they did those shots with uh with, with Dolores. I, I don't know how they did those. I don't know if they grabbed those from the original music video or if they superimposed her likeness onto uh, a green screen actor I, I I don't know I don't know what they did I don't know how they pulled that off but it was pulled off really well very seamlessly um did that have any effect on the score at all no 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 it did not it had absolutely no impact on the score whatsoever um I'll tell you what did have an impact on the score though uh the story behind this song coming to be uh dolores was actually supposed to go in and do her vocals for this cover the exact same day that yeah, that she passed away that oof, I, I can only imagine putting myself in bad wolves shoes i can only imagine how that would have affected them um i'm sure they built up you know a rapport with her possibly a friendship with her and to have that happen, man, the day she was supposed to come in. Oof, that hit hard. And what also really hit hard was seeing what Bad Bulls did. Um, donating all the proceeds from from this song, from the, from the sale of the single of the song, and the portion of the sale from the, sale, from the album sales, um, donating all the proceeds to Dolores' kids. That's... It, okay, it's the right thing to do. It is the right thing to do. Did they have to do it? No, they didn't have to do it. They didn't have to. They made the choice to do the right thing. And that is special. That is really special. So, taking everything into account, especially that last part, on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give that a, I'm gonna give that a 10. Yep, 10, you heard me, I didn't stutter. That is the score I feel this song deserves. I loved the song, even without that part, you know, that, 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 that the story behind the song, this would be up in the nines, I guarantee you. This would be up at like 9.2, 9.3, somewhere in there. Seeing that, so I, I, I would I would give the song on its own merit, I would give it like a 9.2, 9.3, just for, as a song on its own. But knowing the story behind the song and what they've done for her kids through this song, guys, you know me. Humanitarian reasons, I gotta give it a 10. I don't have a choice. So, and I believe me, I have no problem giving this a 10 at all. So, 10, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.